Hi, I'm Joe B. from KHS America, and today I'm going to show you how to put together one of our Jupiter saxophones. First thing we do when we take the saxophone is we might make sure we lay it down on a nice solid surface, either the floor or a table. Find the logo to make sure that the case is pointing up before you open it. And you can open the case to see your saxophone. Okay, now when you first get your saxophone, it's going to be wrapped up in, in paper, and there's going to be some packaging corks uh, with them. If you're not comfortable with taking your packaging corks out, please ask your music teacher or your music dealer to do that for you. Just to show you what they look like, I'm going to take this out and always handle it by the bell to avoid handling the keys. Set it on a nice flat surface to get the paper off. Always being careful of the keys around the bell, and then that's where you can hold it from. You can hold it here from the bell to get the rest of the paper off. Then place that back in the case so we can take out the next part of the saxophone, which is the neck. This is your neck, also in a bag. I'm going to take the neck out of the bag, place that back into the slot, and then we also have a mouthpiece which has a ligature and a cap. You can see you have your cap and your ligature, which is tightened right now, which also comes off. Be careful with these. Do not drop this. This is a very important piece of equipment. Keep the cap on for safety and place it back into its compartment. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to put some cork grease on the neck. This is the part that the mouthpiece is going to slide on. So you're going to find some cork grease, and in years it should, it'll be in your bag. That comes with your saxophone. And what I like to do is to put some cork grease on my thumbnail, scrape it out of there, and then I'm going to put it on the cork. I'm going to work it in nicely. Next I'm going to take the saxophone. Again I'm going to pick it up by the bell. And you notice there's a little protective cap here on the top. Right here on the top is a protective cap. That cap is to help keep this little exposed piece from bending. So you have to always be careful of that. Keep that in your case so you don't forget it. And then when we uh, set, you can set your saxophone down on a, on a nice flat surface. And when you hold your neck, do not hold your neck from this side. Always hold it close to the key work. Don't squeeze it too hard. And then you'll see over here, this part goes together again with a slight twisting motion. This piece goes underneath. That will operate the key for you. At that point, you can tighten your neck down so that it doesn't move. Then we're going to take our mouthpiece and holding this way, we're going to place it on the saxophone. And again, the flat part is pointing down. At this point, I want to give you a, just a little bit of instruction about the neck strap. Saxophones are heavy, so they require a neck strap. So you're going to find in your case a neck strap. It has a twisted wire that's holding it together. So you're going to untwist the wire. This part, you're going to open up. You can slide this down, give yourself more room. This will go around your neck. Again, by holding it, the saxophone by the bell, you'll see this little round hook on the end. And you'll see a little hook on your neck strap as well. Now what I like to do, some people just put the hook in there. I like to give it a little bit of a twist and make sure if the keys are up that the hook is pointing that way. That way you're sure when, because this holds the weight of the saxophone for you, you want to make sure that when you're in a resting position it doesn't accidentally slip off and you forget about it because then if your saxophone falls to the floor you don't want that to happen. Okay. So then we're going to take this apart and we're going to put it back away. So we're going to unhook the saxophone. We're going to set it down on a nice flat surface. 
we're going to take off with a twisting motion the mouthpiece. We're going to put the mouthpiece away with its cap into the compartment. Again, we're going to loosen the neck, this, this screw here, and then we're going to, again, not grabbing it from here, but grabbing it from here, and we're going to slowly twist and remove the neck from the saxophone. Place that back in the component. Now the important part to remember before we put this one away is that we want to protect this little pivot point with the cap so it stays safe and doesn't get bent in the case. That's what that little protector cap is for. Then grabbing it by the bell, we place it back in the case. Make sure everything is in place. Close it shut. Make sure your latches are firmly sealed before you pick up your case. And then you're all set to go. Next we're gonna show you how to put the reed on your mouthpiece. So when you have your mouthpiece, it has a cap, you're gonna take your cap off. I'm gonna set this down for a second. You're gonna get your reed, which comes in this handy little container. And always handle your reed from the bottom. It will slide out of the plastic. The tip is very thin, you don't want it to break, so never handle it by the top. And normally you would soak this while you're, you're preparing. So you take your mouthpiece, you're gonna slide your ligature up just a little bit. You're going to turn the ligature screws counterclockwise to loosen it. And that will give you room so that you can get your reed, again, handling from the bottom end, don't touch the tip. You can slide that onto the mouthpiece, slide the ligature down, make sure that the sides are lined up, and then to adjust the position, you're going to slightly press on the center of the reed to see where the tip of the reed lies against the mouthpiece. Your teacher will show you the exact amount that you need. Once it's in position, then you're going to tighten the top ligature screw clockwise and the bottom ligature screw clockwise so it has a nice firm and the reed will not move after that. And then you're ready to play. When you're done, you're going to reverse the procedure. You're going to loosen your ligature screws, turning them counterclockwise. Slightly push your ligature up. Push the reed up so you can grab it from the bottom end. Again, being very careful of the tip. And then take your plastic container or whatever container you have for your reed. Very carefully slide it back in. Put that back in your case. Take your cap, put it back on your mouthpiece. That goes in the case. And then you're all set.